In this episode, you will see how belts that work on production lines are made. Belt is almost a magic word for modern industry. The longest conveyor belts used in mines are 30 kilometers long, and when put together in a continuous belt, over 100 kilometers. To many people outside the manufacturing industry, they are more associated with checkout counters or airport luggage systems. But in almost every industry, they fulfill an extremely important role. They are the means by which transport runs smoothly. Raw materials and products are moved. In other words, they keep things moving. How are they made? We will find out at Euroband in Kowo. We have been supporting maintenance in the production sector for over 30 years. What distinguishes us from other plants is that we do not engage in mass production, but in unit production. Every day we send dozens of custom-made products to our customers. In addition, we have a 24-hour service, seven days a week. Once an order is accepted, it goes to the engineering department, which prepares designs and production technologies. Now let's see how the conveyor belts for the production lines are made. First, a roll is taken from the fully automated warehouse and placed on the blanking table. Here it acquires the length and width specified in the order. The belt, which is to be thermally bonded, goes into the trimming machine. Here, cutouts are created that allow permanent bonding in the thermal press. In the case of mechanically spliced belts, several types of clips are used. Depending on the customer's needs, Euroband can also carry out the splices at the customer's premises, which saves time on assembly. After splicing, the belt is basically ready, just in its basic version. However, it is possible to order various types of accessories for it, which are produced on specialized machines, such as the Guideway Warming Machine, a side wave welding machine to prevent loose materials from escaping from the belt. A high frequency driver welding machine. The same technology is used to produce extremely robust tarpaulins for lorries. A CNC machine that performs various perforations and milling. Euroband is able to produce belts from 5 millimeters to 8 meters wide. There is a choice of over a dozen types of material, such as PVC, polyurethane, polyester, felt, cotton, Teflon, and rubber. Let's take a look at the modular belt section. These consist of a number of individual components, or blocks, connected by pins. As with ordinary belts, they can be fitted with additional components. Their construction means they are more resistant to tearing or easy to clean, so they are more durable and practical, also when replacing damaged components. Let's move on for a moment to rubber belts. Widely used in the mining industry, steel mills or brickyards. These are generally thermally bonded using special pigments. A glance at the curved belt. This type is used in the distribution industry. It is a plant specialty. It is made on machines specially designed and built for this purpose. In the machining department, metal parts are created to allow the movement of conveyors. The parts are manufactured from steel and aluminum shafts and flat bars taken from the materials store. Then the work is carried out by machines such as belt cutters, CNC lathes, a conventional lathe for small parts, 
a CNC peripheral milling machine, which makes the teeth on the work pieces, a three-axis milling machine that drills holes with threading, as well as a chiseling machine and a press. We complete our tour of the production departments in the department that produces drive belts, flat belts, toothed belts, special belts with pads, bumps, and perforations. These are used in industrial and agricultural machinery, as well as in various types of automatic equipment. What more? Quality control, of course. All products arrive here and are tested among others on a computerized coordinate measuring machine that can determine the dimensions of components to four decimal places and a ripper that checks the strength of belts and tapes. Done. The belts now go to the customers for whom they provide traffic in the factory halls and in business.